Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have kind of a fun one, but before we get into that, Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> It's Christmas Eve. I have filmed this much earlier, obviously, than, or not much, but a few days earlier. Um, so I hope you guys are having a lovely day and enjoying some family time or getting ready to enjoy some family time um, or just even chilling out and just having a relaxing time. Um, yeah. I just hope everyone is in good spirits and Merry Christmas to you all. But I wanted to share with you guys today my, um, I have a vintage pattern haul here. So um, let me give you a little backstory of what happened. So last weekend, um, I was sitting at home minding my own business in sweats. I was in like athleisure type wear and um, just going about my Saturday. At like 10 o'clock in the morning, my friend Jenny that you guys have all met, my um, thrifting buddy, she's a buddy period, um, knitting buddy, thrifting buddy, everything buddy, um, she texted me and said, and all it said was, OMG, we're at the Goodwill by Target, there's an entire end cap full of patterns, and then she sent a picture, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm on my way, <laughs> I'm on my way. So she was, um, her girls, they do a really fun thing with their cousins of thrifting. So they each take, I think she said 10 bucks. Everyone has a $10, um, budget and they buy, they draw the cousin's name and, but you have to thrift something for that, for the person that you drew and you have a $10 limit. So they were doing that and she just happened to see a um, big end cap of patterns. And when I got there, clearly someone who was a seamstress had um, done a big dump of stuff because there was a sewing table that was there that had kind of like a, a cutout a little bit and also a pants press that looked like it was probably from the 50s. It was like enamel. Um, it was amazing. It was 50 bucks though. I'm like, my husband will kill me if I come home with this thing. It's huge. Uh, like something you would see maybe at a dry cleaner. It was really cool, but I didn't get it. Anyway, I did grab some patterns. And what was even more fun is that my friend Jenny's youngest daughter, who is my daughter's age, does show some interest in sewing. And I've helped her a few times with projects. And I was telling her that, um, you know, as soon as I get my uh, sewing room, some new tables and stuff in my sewing room, I'm going to be doing some one on one or some small group lessons. And uh, she was like, oh, yes. I said, so you can bring your stuff over and I will help you do any of this. And then she was like sold. So she grabbed a couple as well that were in the smaller sizes. So I just want to show you what I grabbed. Okay, and I grabbed, I mean, these were 99 cents a piece. I grabbed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them. I spent $14. Actually, I spent a little more than that because I also came across some um, little art pads um, that I grabbed for my daughter that were also 99 cents a piece. Okay, and not all of these are vintage. Some of these are just like maybe just right out of print. Okay, but I wanna show you what I got. All right, so this first one, this is actually too small for me. This is a size 10, which I think corresponds to a, yeah, 32 and a half inch bust, which would not fit me. But 25 inch waist, 34 and a half inch hip. That would fit my daughter if I did a full bust adjustment on it. So I just thought this was too good. This is a simplicity pattern, but look at that. I love that blouse, like the bow. Um, I just think it's so pretty and the high collar. I even thought, I mean the sleeves, it's all so very in right now. Cause I even thought of, you know, you wouldn't have to make a dress. I think my daughter would wear it more as just a top um, or I could just cut it off where she could tuck it into like high waisted jeans and stuff like that. So I grabbed that one for her. I can just see this in silk. It's really pretty. And honestly, there may be enough ease because it's gathered across the yoke there for me to um, not have to do a full bust adjustment for her. You know, that there would just be enough room. I'll have to check the finished body measurements um, when I open that up. But I just thought that one was so cool. So I grabbed that one. Um, oh, I grabbed this one too. Now I can wear a size 14 in vintage patterns as long as I do a sizable full bust adjustment. But I grabbed, and I also don't know what was going on with this lady. There's a lot of like things that she's cut out. I don't know if someone was doing collages or what, because this lady's whole shirt's missing. Um, but I thought that the collars and stuff on this shirt were so much fun. Um, and this is a multi-size one. This is a size 10, 12, and 14. So I could also make this for my daughter. Um, I mean, I think that this one with like the, the poofy sleeves would be adorable on her. Wish I could see what this lady was wearing, but even the high-necked um, gal, like, I think that is all really cute. And there's um, drawings here on the back of what that looks like. 
So again, for a buck, I grabbed it. Um, oh, there's even, the pattern even includes a special chart on how to work with plaids. Which is, yeah, very cool. Um, okay, this one's a um, size 16, 18, but I thought it was, I mean, I would have to do a full bust adjustment on this for me just to get this to hit where it's supposed to hit. But how lovely is this for summer? I think this dress is so cute. You could belt it. But yeah, so it fit, it's an ampere waist. So I would have to do a full bust adjustment just to make it fit underneath my boobs. Otherwise, you know, it's where it's like cutting you right here. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not where it's supposed to hit. Um, but I think that could be really cute. And I really kind of like the maxi version. It's got the little ties at the sleeves. Like look at her. She's clearly on a tropical vacation. I want to be on a tropical vacation. Um, then I grabbed this one. Also lar size 16 to 18 large. But I thought this was so cute. Look at that little trapeze dress. And this one even includes the little um, transfer for the embroidery that this gal's got on her top. Uh, it just looked interesting. It's a trapeze style dress, kind of a bibbed dress. I just think that could be kind of cute. I don't know. It may look like a tent with large bust. Um, but yeah, I thought that one was cute. Uh, then I grabbed this one. I just think that these, well, okay, so this one comes with, it's all the tops. Well, it comes with the shorts too. So why couldn't you elongate the shorts into the pants? I don't know. But I really loved this little top that that gal's got on. Is that not cute? But it's the um, dress. It's got the sleeves. Um, even like this little number that she's wearing. And again, it comes with the shorts. But I don't know why you couldn't. Let's see. Why you just couldn't extend the shorts and make them into pants, but it just comes with the shorts. Maybe that's why they're like, well, you can figure out how to make that long. Because that's kind of what it looks like that these gals are wearing, just like the shorts that are extended into pants. Anyway, I love these types. And this one is a size 16, um, which may be just a little bit big, but um, like in, I, I talk about like in through here, I would still need to do a full bust adjustment, but I just love that one. That one's my favorite right there. So I grabbed that one. Um, they also cut this lady up. This is a 16 and a half, um, but I just love that dress with the little collar. Um, I think what this gal was wearing <laughs> was a higher necked one because it shows there's like a higher neck, um, which may just be the collar in the back. I have no idea what the lady's wearing that it's missing. So we'll have to, to get in there and figure that out. Oh, I guess it's just a long sleeve version. I think it's the same dress just with long sleeves. So you've got short sleeves and the other one's long sleeves. Anyway, I just think that's really cute and that's a, a flattering style on me. And the princess seams make doing a full bust adjustment and all that kind of stuff pretty easy. Um, this is size 18, um, which is actually for a 40 inch bust. So this might, I may have to do some like, you know, rigging with the shoulders here, but I love this drop waist dress. Is that not amazing? Oh, and it's a skort. <sighs> And so I'm thinking like I could make this somehow into like a golfing dress. It would be perfect for that. I just think that's really cute. And because I have a very short torso, drop waist is a good look on me. Um, I grabbed this one. This is a size 16, bust 38 for just the nightgowns. I just think that those are adorable. Um, and slips. I mean, there's even a half slip. Oh, she's just holding it there, but it's on the back. There's a half slip, full slip, or even just the little nightgown. Um, and there's a little bra and underwear set, but um, I thought that one was cute. This is another one that I grabbed that I thought would be good for golfing. Um, I mean, this gal's playing tennis in it. It's a size 16 and a half for a 39 inch bust, but um, yeah, I think I can make that work. Um, and I think paired with the sports bra, because I don't think you could wear a normal bra with the way that those, the tops of those are, but I think you could put a sports bra on that's supposed to be seen and it would be cute. But I think that's adorable. And it's, oh, it's got like a built-in like bloomer underneath it. So you're not like, like a Spanx, not Spanx. What were those called? Gosh, in the cheerleading days that you wore, it was like underwear, but you just, but they were meant to be seen like when you did cartwheels and stuff. I can't remember what they were called. Anyway. 
neither here nor there. Um, this is a more recent one, but I grabbed this one again for the nightgown. I want to make a nightgown. And honestly, as I'm looking at it, it's a size range that's a little too small for me. But it could be a nightgown for Ava, I guess. <laughs> I just thought that would be some cute nightgowns. And that's McCall's 5879. It only goes up to a size 12, and I am not a size 12. Oh my gosh, I grabbed this one because it's amazing. It's a jumpsuit. It's a size 16, um, so I need to do a little bit of flanagling. I think there are darts, though, in the front that I could mess around with doing a full bust adjustment. Oh my gosh, there's just one main pattern piece on this. Yes, there's an armhole dart that I could mess around with, but look at that. Isn't that a fabulous jumpsuit slash romper? I think that's really cute. And again, look at the pattern pieces. It's like one major one. <laughs> and I think, is this one for, oh, for wovens. Cause that'd be fun in a linen, wouldn't it? Um, okay, I grabbed this one. This is size 16 um, because I'm obsessed with this version right here. So I love this one as well. I don't, I would never wear it w completely loose. Although that'd be good maternity, I guess. Not that I'm in that, I'm not in that stage of life at all, but um, I loved this version and I really loved this drop waist version. I think that would be very flattering on my figure. And um, I love the big sleeves. I really like that one. I think that that one is, yeah, I'm glad I grabbed that one. Um, then I grabbed this new look pattern. It's just a sheath dress. It looked cute and I can't, let's see, did this one... Yeah, this one's for wovens as well. It just seemed like a nice little sheath dress pattern to have in the haul for myself or my daughter. It's a multi-size, um, size six to 16, I guess, new look pattern. So I grabbed that one. I thought the purses were kind of cute too. And on that note, I grabbed this one for, let's see, soft bags. It's a simplicity sewing patterns for dummies. I just think that those are adorable for a summer bag. And you can find these handles and stuff pretty readily now. I love these two, these top two. Um, but I thought that that might be kind of fun to mess around with, um, especially if I'm doing some sewing with some teenagers. Um, we can find some neat handles and yeah, have a lot of fun making some purses. Um, and that sort of thing. So I grabbed that one for 99 cents. Why not? Anyway, it was so exciting. I can never, I never find pattern or not never. I very rarely find patterns or fabric at the thrift stores near me. So when we do see them, which we do occasionally, it's a very exciting event. And I'm so glad I went down there. There were a ton more um, that we didn't grab the two of us, but man, I was glad to get my hands on some. <laughs> Again, it, it combines my love for thrifting with my love of all things patterns, fabrics, fibers, you know, it's a good combination. And it was a good pick-me-up on a Saturday just to pop in there. I hadn't been into, done any thrifting in quite a while, so that was a fun thing to get to do. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you're having a fantastic New York, New Year's, Christmas Eve, um, slash getting ready for Christmas wonderful Friday. I hope you have a wonderful holiday wherever you are, whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, just a really good holiday season and you know we're getting ready to get into that week of um, you know have no idea what day it is, what time it is. I feel like that week between Christmas and New Year's is just really um, you know what day is it. But uh, yeah and I hope you have, I'll see you again next Friday, which will be New Year's Eve, but I hope that you, um, yeah, have a wonderful time and Merry Christmas to you all. All right, guys, I will see you on um, Sunday. I'll have a vlog up, um, although I ended the vlog a little early, so I wasn't, you know, talking to a camera on Christmas Day, but, um, and so I could edit it and get it up, but yeah, I'll have a vlog up on Sunday and then another one the following Sunday, and then we'll be done with the vlogmas. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas Eve, and I will see you guys again on Sunday. Bye!